evening baseball on tap from beautiful Coors Field here in the capital city of Denver, Colorado. Here it's the little guys on the big stage between the Sugarland Skeeters and the Columbus Clippers. Giancarlos Mejia will be on the mound for the away team in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. Stepping up is Ross Adolph. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. A 1-1. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. In tight with the slider, two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. What an amazing A.B. right here. What a message it sends to your entire lineup. This guy knows out on the mound he's going to have to battle today. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Johnson is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's the key for them tonight, d -Row? Focusing on this lineup, Matt, one thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now on the bump has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep, but I'm telling you, a good hit and run, taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. Johnson back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Batting third, the center fielder, Ronnie Dawson. Digging in next, Ronnie Dawson. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 2 1. It is strike two, swinging. If the offense didn't already know, man on the mound's got his A game fastball working today. Rolled slowly to first. He's right there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Number 35 is tasked with pitching in front of the home crowd in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey. You don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Now at the plate, here is Gabriel Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and two as he chases the slider. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who like to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six no inches. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Gabriel Arias is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. One and two, here it comes. 
Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the that middle of the hurt. order up with the an opportunity baseman. to do some damage. No so way. when you strike both of them out, Yo. you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. At the plate now, Nolan Jones. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And oh. that ends the inning. Second inning upcoming here in Denver with no score. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Taylor Jones. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The one one. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. On the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. And one of the main pieces on this team today is the guy playing shortstop. A ton of range, the ability to go in the hole, set that back foot with a strong arm over the first base. And I know it's going to upset the second baseman and the third baseman, but at the end of the day, the shortstop is and always will be the captain of the infield. Grounded to the right. And there are two yeah. away now. That is good. The left fielder, Jordan Brewer. And stepping in, Jordan Brewer. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Aye. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's 1 and 2 now. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Another 2-2 offering. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the bottom of the second. And we are tied nothing nothing. Now that brings up Josh Naylor. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The one one. Well, that's just a nice executed pitch right there. To have the confidence to go in, pound it inside. If he's got that, this team's in trouble. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Boy, he's really on a roll on a hill good. right now. As we right roll field. through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last Just inning, said. and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. So now to the plate, Daniel Johnson. Hit in the air to left field. Brewer is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Batting six, the center fielder, George Valera. At the plate now is George Valera. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Looking for our first hit in the ball game. And he'll come back with one in the one dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. In there, and it's even now, two and two. 
That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And this one misses inside a ball he walked in, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. At the plate, Ernie Clement. Fastball well outside. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Bounce to first. Right to him. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. Tied, nothing, nothing. So here is Preyudis Nova. And all set to begin the third inning in this one. The 1-1 home. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed oh, stuff. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Just missed with the 2-2 two -two count, and it runs full now. Rubble Garcia, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Swing, and he rockets this one down the left field line. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Standing in now, Rubble Garcia. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. From the belt, the pitch. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. To see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Now a pickoff play at second. He and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Here's the 2 2. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one. He swings and misses the first out. So now here is Garrett Stubbs looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. And he can't oh, catch out. the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Skied down the left field line. 
And this will wind up a foul ball. The 3 2 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. You get that day set to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Ross Adolph. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Here as this ball is popped into the air, and he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for yeah, route number two. Base, now, with the plate is Marwin Gonzalez, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Stubbs is off of first with two away. Ball. Three and one now, and I think he I wanted to know one. where that one was. One well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Swing just a little early, and they'll see another payoff pitch. The next 3 2. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Next, here is Ronnie Dawson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 1 2 pitch. Fly ball to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. But he can't get there as this hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And a bit of a break on defense as only one run is going to score. Plate now, Taylor Jones popped up. Naylor has room in foul territory, and that will end the inning. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Skeeters are out on top, two to nothing. So now into the box is Ryan LaVarnway as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. It's a nice job by the batter right there. Able Batting to fight off a high fastball and slap it the other way for a single. Into the box now, Aaron Bracho. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a no guy. Jeez, I mean, 13. that fastball was Short way behind time. him when the swing Gabriel. came through the zone. I have to think he was oh, looking yeah. for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. the box Gabriel Arias one and two now as that one's fouled off
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been now unable to advance that leadoff single Tyler. into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Next up is Tyler Krieger looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. The 2-2. Smoke toward third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. On now to the top of inning number four. The Skeeters lead it two to nothing. Now into the box, number 13. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This one's blooped out to the right center field. In there, a base hit. Now batting, left fielder, Jordan Brewer. So now to the plate, Jordan Brewer. That's a ball. Plays off the breaking pitch, and it's three balls and a strike. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hit hard towards center, and that'll get down for a base hit. 3-1 fastball, middle cut, and he didn't miss it. That's the fight throughout the course of the game. You get yourself into count leverage and capitalize. Standing in now, Freyudis Nova. Line to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. No sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Another payoff pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. Now here comes the skipper out of the first base dugout heading for the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Daniel Espino answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Garrett Stubbs will stand in against the new pitcher and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. 
There's a strike with the breaking ball. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Hit out towards second. Reined in. The second for one. On the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. The like base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. At the plate, Ross Adolf. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Skeeters are out on top, four to nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Nolan Jones, and they could use a spark from him here. The one two. Well. Swing and a liner. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here Number in the middle three. innings. Number he's up 22. over one in the inning up to this point. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. In now, Josh Naylor. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Again, another foul ball. The next one-two pitch. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. This is lifted out to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, right fielder, Daniel Johnson. Into the box, Daniel Johnson flew out in his only at-bat so far. Bases are empty here with two men out. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's Down, cut on and missed and for strike two. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. set for the start of the inning and into bat next the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez hitters count now here's the two and one swing and a liner but he can't bring it down. Base hit. I mean, that's a well-executed curveball right there. Pitcher does exactly what he wants to do. Gets the hitter out on his front foot. Gets him out and around the baseball. And he still finds a hole. At the plate now, Ronnie Dawson. 
Get the target, but this is low, two and one. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Shot down the line. It's a fair ball. Gonzalez isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they extend the lead to five zip. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. Stepping in now, Taylor Jones had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. No one out with a runner at second. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Krieger arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. The back. Number 13. Up next, number 13. A hit in two tries so far. Oh, Down low, there. two balls and a strike. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you. I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks the zone again. Three and that's two taken three. high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. Arias takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. So now to the plate, Jordan Brewer, swing and a liner. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Throw into second, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. Yeah, giving up an RBI double is always painful, but even more so when there are two outs in the inning. A run had already crossed the plate, and then he gives up a blistering double to allow another run on the board. the box for Yudis Nova rounded down the third baseline boy and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases wow you gotta love this aggressive swing here gets the barrel of the bat out in front of the ball and just rips it down the left field line absolutely no play on that ball the second it left the bat nice job picking up the runner Number 65 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 65. To the plate now, Robo Garcia. 
hit hard on the ground is short. And that is through into left field, a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is now to that. shut the door down when they the call on him, and he just Here couldn't it. get it done there. Stop. Into the box now. Garrett Stubbs. Hey. And, ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. Garcia, the runner at first with two gone. Fastball three, ball, just two, inside. 3-2, three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Skeeters lead it eight to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next it'll be the outfielder, George Valera. The 1-1 one -one home. That's the ball. Yep, and behind now, out. three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favor, three and one. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. It's softly on the ground to first. Scooped up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back, the designated hitter, Ernie Clement. Next will be the designated hitter, Ernie Clement, grounded out in his last at-bat. One out, nobody on. Still two and two. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You could just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Plate now, Ryan LaVarnway. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Ross Adolph.
didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. The 2-1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And he dives, but he can't make the play. It lands foul. Chopped on the ground over to first. High hop and he barehands it. Oh. What a play. The batter of the dog. Second baseman. Marwin Gonzalez. So the next to bat will be Marwin Gonzalez. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. The 1-1 home. Ball. in the air out to right. Johnson is back in plenty of time to put this away however and there are two gone. The batter the center fielder Ronnie Dawson. Next it'll be Ronnie Dawson. He doubled his last time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Here comes the one-two. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Stepping in is Aaron Braccio comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And he fouls this one off. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Stubbs is after it. He'll throw down oh. the first, one away. No pattern, now number back 13. to the top of the lineup, Your stepping stop. in, Gabriel, Gabriel Arias. He started out the evening oh, 0 for yeah. 2 so far. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. On that fastball is too much for him there, 1-2. One and two. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now batting, left fielder, Tyler Krieger. Striding in is Tyler Krieger. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. The 1-1. One, one.
ball. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Fouled off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Seventh inning coming up. The Skeeters are out on top, eight to nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Taylor Jones. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. So the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Ready now is number 13. He's working on a one for three thus far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So next to hit is Jordan Brewer. So far two for three in this one. Two out nobody on. Right side hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. So next to bat will be Preudis Nova. Three hits in three trips to the plate for him so far. One and one, here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Robel Garcia. Standing in now, Robel Garcia. There's ball four. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do, but the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Garrett Stubbs will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. 3-2 with the bases loaded. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Tapped up the third base line. Try it again, three and two. Another one sent foul. Brewer at third, Nova at second, Garcia at first, two out in the inning. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Wow, they went to the pen because they liked the matchup. And what does he do? He walks the first guy he faces to bring in a run. So, so much for that strategy. Makes you wonder if they'll turn to him again next time in this situation. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Ross Adolph, he bounced out last time up. 
the 2-1. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll Ladies strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So it's one run on two hits, no errors, and three men left stranded. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. The Skeeters lead it nine to nothing. And now in the box, Nolan Jones. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish, this A.B. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's deal is still top-notch. This guy's a horse. Here comes the one-two. Misses, ball two. ball two. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Uh, two, two. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. In now, Josh Naylor lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Nobody out, runner on first. And that two misses balls, two and two. two. Uh, and he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted now it nicely batting. down Mike around Cooper. the bottom of the zone. Daniel. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. At the plate, Daniel Johnson. Strike taken up in the zone. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. The one two. two, two and through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to drive this hot hand or if he's going to go to the full count. Full count, three and two. Verlander still nothing earned through six and a third. Breaks his bat as this ball's lifted into the air. Nova into shallow left. He makes the running play. Two down. Now batting the center fielder. George Valera. Now at the plate, George Valera. Two out with the man at first. Hey. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one, one and two. two Boy, he's been great in this one. And he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. A 
two-run blast to straightaway right field. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Stepping in now, Ernie Clement. Now that ball is smoked, carrying to deep left. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. A solo shot here to left, and this lead has been cut to just six now. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. So now to the plate, Ryan LaVarnway. Two oh, and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Three runs already home here. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The bouncer up the middle. Gonzalez is there. Throw in the Got dirt, it. but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Eighth inning coming up. The Skeeters are out on top, nine to three. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in as the switch hitting second baseman, Marwin Gonzalez. Skied into straightaway right. And the eighth inning begins with a flyout, quickly one away. Now that the center fielder, Ronnie Dawson. Next up, Ronnie Dawson. Two doubles for him to this point in the game. Bases are empty, one man out. Trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Taylor Jones waits on deck. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Krieger will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now batting the first base. Taylor Stepping in next, Taylor Jones. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1 1 home. Grounded to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Pedro Baez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now, half of the eighth. Number 52, Pedro Baez. Now to the plate, here is Aaron Bracho. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Nope. And there's inside. ball 2 now. 
couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. The set and the two and one pitch. is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 no, count. Man. It just no, didn't no. tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition oh, yeah. and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Gabriel Arias flew out last time up. The 3 2 pitch. And he lays no, off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Now batting. The left fielder, Tyler. Digging in, the switch hitter, Tyler Krieger. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Bracho rounds third and is digging for the plate. Safe at the plate. And the deficit now stands at five. Now batting. Third baseman. Nowhere. Jones. Now it'll be Nolan Jones singled in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. Career numbers against Baez. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Two and two count, here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Dawson is there now and he has it, two gone. Now batting, right fielder, Daniel Johnson. Next to hit is Daniel Johnson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. That's a ball. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Arias over at second. Krieger on at first with two down. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next three, two. Fouled away. On the eighth 
pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. So one run here, one hit, no errors, and a couple of men left. Ninth inning coming up. The Skeeters lead it nine to four. Nick Sandlin enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now to the plate, number 13. He's one for four so far. The 1-1. One, one. Ball inside. Sandlin is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Jordan Brewer. Now to bat, Jordan Brewer. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. The 1-1 one, one home. Is a fastball whiffed on for a strike. Ball, two strikes, the count. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That the elevated fastball. Every Good hitter job. thinks that, hey, they can do Brett something Lee's with that, but no most ball. of the time, you get the result that you saw right there a big swing and a miss, and another strikeout. Into the box for Yudis Nova. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll head now to the bottom of the ninth. The Skeeters are out on top, nine to four. Brandon Belak, a six foot two inch now right hander, jogs in to take over on Number the mound. 64, Brandon Belak. Digging in will be George Valera, one for two in the ballgame thus far. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty V, a two-strike straight changeup. But this guy changeup is one of the best in the league. We'll see if he tries that different approach this time, and maybe if he gets to two strikes, try to use the fastball a little bit more than that straight changeup. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. It's a bullpen game for them now as we have a look at the starters final line. He was great all night long. Yeah he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Standing in now Ernie Clement. He loses him on ball four. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. To the plate now, Ryan LaVarnway. Count is two and one. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Barring any late turnaround, this win would belong to Justin Verlander. Clement, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. The bouncer to the left side. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Now batting. The second baseman. Next, it'll be Aaron Bracho. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. The 
just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Two out here and a runner at second. And he just he misses inside with the fastball there. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. And the payoff pitch. And three. he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. The Skeeters led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Justin Verlander pitches well enough to get the W. Giancarlos Mejia worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious Skeeters, nine runs on 13 hits. No errors, they left seven men on base. For the Clippers, four runs on five hits. No errors, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please... Drive home safely.